Global levels of pollution are a growing concern for the world's population. In first world countries, green spaces are adapting to the city infrastructures around them. Today in Brixton, I met with Sebastian Wood, the Volunteers Digital and Orchard Manager for Urban Growth, an organisation working with communities to improve Londoners' well-being through the creation of public gardens and green spaces. The organisation came about when there was a clear disconnect between um, individuals and, and green spaces and, and nature. Here in Brixton we have this site in Park Brixton. We built an orchard on Brixton Hill as well. Not only that, there's this opportunity for people to improve their well-being through green space and to provide learning opportunities as well. You just get more and more motivated because you meet so many other people trying to bring about a better future. After going to some talks recently, we need to get to the stage where 10 years ago it was sort of unheard of to remove a lane of, of traffic or cars and instead put a lane for bicycles. We need to be able to get to the stage where we remove another lane of cars and vehicles and instead put an, an, a strip of trees instead. Urban garden projects help fight against the rising level of pollution and toxicity in the city. The symbiosis of urban living and nature assists the battle against the damaging impact of pollutants in the air upon one's health.